Do you think it's important to focus on known uh, technologies like nuclear that we currently have, just trying to make it better, smaller, more cost efficient, or move into technologies that are maybe a little bit less known, like thorium reactors, or even beyond that, uh, f nuclear fusion? Well, nuclear fusion, uh, you know, that's uh, m most of the experts who I trust uh, think that's at least 50 years away. There are some very intriguing uh, explorations of what used to be called cold fusion. It's actually, a, that's, they don't like that term anymore. It's still speculative. Uh, we can always hope for a breakthrough, but I, it's probably not uh, smart to bet on fusion in the near term. Uh, thorium reactors, uh, maybe so. Uh, there are more than a hundred different designs for new reactors, new kinds of reactors that are now working their way through the Nuclear Regulatory Commission process. All of them are a, a pretty good ways off, 15, 20 years probably. Uh, but we should explore new technologies, but we should move uh, forward with what we already know how to do. Uh. Then there's also low energy nuclear reactions, which we're working on here. Uh, we've got 22 years now of experiments on low energy nuclear reactions, which uh, indicate uh, out of you know hundreds of experiments that this is real. Uh, and we now have a theory from Wittem Larsen that indicates that it's it's a condensed matter in nuclear physics. It's collective effects. It, it, it is not particle physics. It, it is not uh, uh, the usual business. And you can get around the Coulomb barrier by forming ultra-weak neutrons uh, using heavy electrons, which not only enable you to form the neutrons, but also uh, convert the uh, gamma radiation, which comes off of the beta decay, which is where the energy is finally produced, uh, convert that into thermal so that you don't have to have much radiation protection. So LENR is uh, anywhere, expected to be anywhere from 20,000 to 3 million times chemical, and that would really revolutionize space.